Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In our subject, Advanced Manufacturing Processes, we have started the chapter on Conventional Machining Processes and we have discussed the concept of Unconventional Machining Processes. So, Unconventional Machining Processes are classified based on the energy involved. So, in previous sessions, we have discussed the various processes for example, based on mechanical energy, we have discussed on abrasive jet machining as well as ultrasonic machining. Uh, based on electrical energy involved, we have discussed electro discharge machining in previous sessions. So, based on various types of energy involved, we can classify various processes based on the principle of material removal rate. So, today, based on chemical energy involved, we are going to discuss on the process based on chemical energy that is chemical machining, electrochemical machining etc. Right? So today we are going to discuss on the process based on chemical energy. Right? So when you heard this term chemical energy, what do you mean by chemical energy? So generally chemicals are available with help of which we can remove the material. This is the simple basic principle. So let us start our discussion based on chemical energy involved processes. Right? So here I mentioned the general processes that can be covered under title of chemical energy involved. Right? So here as per our discussion based on chemical energy we can classify the processes like chemical machining, electrochemical machining, electrochemical grinding electrochemical honing etc. Right? So here principle is very simple with help of chemical or in controlled manner we can remove the material with help of chemical from the workpiece. Right? So that is the general principle uh, based on chemical energy involved. Right? So today we are going to discuss on various processes. So in this category the first process that we are going to discuss is a simple chemical machining. In the short form, we can uh, classify this process as a CM, that is chemical machining. So, as per our discussion here, chemical etchant or chemical reagent, that is most important. So, what do we mean by chemical reagent? Chemical reagent means it is the solution or liquid by dipping our workpiece or by immersing our workpiece in that particular solution that is known as a etchant or say chemical reagent we can remove the workpiece or with help of chemical reaction our material can be eroded or can be removed that is the principle of this chemical machining process so here in chemical machining chemical reagent or say etchant is very important so here I mentioned the principle of this chemical machining in this image. For example, we have one block and we are going to machine the surface of the block, that is upper surface of the block. So for that here, muscant is used. So what do you mean by muscant? So muscant is nothing but it is a material which is used for not doing the machining. Or say we can mask that particular surface for which we are not going to cut that particular surface. For example, from the upper surface, we can or say our purpose is to machine a small part, but the another surface will not or say should not be affected, then we have to apply the muscant to mask or say to separate that particular surface from the machining. So we can avoid the machining that for that particular surface by applying maskant, right? So maskant is nothing but it is the material which will be used for preventing preventing that particular region from the machining, right? So we have to apply the maskant in that particular area for which we are not going to remove any material, right? So this is known as a maskant. So etchant and maskant both things are very important in chemical machining. So as per our discussion, here I mentioned the simple steps or say working of this chemical machining. So first of all, you have to clean your workpiece. After that, what happens? You have to apply the muscant for which area? For the area 
for which we are not going to remove the material for that particular area right so sometimes what happens your purpose is to remove the material but your purpose is not to remove the material from whole surface right so for particular that type of application or that type of purpose you have to apply the mask end to mask that particular surface right so here i mentioned the working for the same so after that what happens your workpiece with the mask end you have to immerse that particular workpiece in chemical reagent or say in chemical reagent or etchant and after that what happens due to this chemical reaction your metal will be converted into metal salt and will be dissolved in this particular liquid or etchant that's how material can be removed with help of chemical reaction right so this is very simple principle right so etchant and muscant as per our discussion etchant is nothing but it is a chemical or say it is a solution or it is the chemical reagent into which we are going to immersing that particular workpiece for material removal right so it is in simple words it is chemical right what do we mean by muscant once again i repeat muscant means it is a material or say it is a thing which we need to apply to the workpiece for particular area for which we are not going to remove the material for that particular area so if we apply the muscant for that particular part material will not be removed because your reagent or say your etchant or chemical will not be in direct contact with that particular area for which you have applied the muscant right so here i mentioned the different etchant or chemical solutions for different types of material right so for example you are going to remove the material or you are going to machine the aluminum workpiece with help of this chemical machining the general etchant uses caustic soda so i mentioned all these types of acids and chemical reagents based on material to be machined or material to be cut with help of this chemical machining right so how can you apply the muscant that is most important so here i mentioned the various general methods the first one is a scrape and peel muscant so what happens uh, as we know uh, we are going to paint our walls of our house or or say any building right so in the same way for example for any workpiece you are going to paint or brush this type of muscant on the workpiece surfaces right so after that you can remove the particular surface with help of a sharp knife for which you are going to do machining so in another areas where muscant is applied chemical or say your reagent or etchant will not be in contact with that particular area so material will not be removed for that particular area so you can apply the uh, muscant uh, in form of liquid paint with help of brush or by dipping that particular workpiece into your muscant and after that with help of after curing with help of knife you can or with help of cutter you can cut the excess area or say for which you are going to machine and after that you can do the machining right so that is a simple script and peel so you can peel that particular muscan skin after drying or say after curing right so once again uh, i repeat uh, you can paint that muscan on your workpiece after that after curing and after cooling what happens your muscan will make another uh, thin surface over the workpiece so with help of knife you can also with help of cutter you can peel the excess muscant and you can go for the washing that is the one concept or say one method right so another one is a photo resist muscant so here one principle is very interesting that is a photo resist muscant what happens when we apply that particular photo resist muscant what happens after that uh uv light or ultraviolet light will be thrown on that particular muscan right so there are two types of uh phenomena happens that is positive and negative so i will uh, show you one video for that so here once again i repeat photo resist muscan it means uh, with help of ultraviolet light there are some materials which will be affected so for example uh, uh when we apply the ultraviolet light the few materials or few polymers are such like with help of ultraviolet light the material will become softer or 
Another material type is like when you apply the ultraviolet light, your material will be hardened after application of or after you throw on the light. So this is the concept of photoresist muscle. It means with help of light, your material can be affected, right? Or say your muscle can be affected. So same principle is mentioned in this slide, right? That is of photoresist muscle, right? So how can we do this type of machining or this type of principle? How can we understand? So here I mentioned one simple and fantastic video based on which we can have an idea on this type of muscles. So there are two types of muscant phenomena that is positive and negative, right? So here mask, mask is applied or which or you can throw the ultraviolet light through this mask. So here I mentioned the polymer as well as your workpiece. So uh, how can we classify or how can we differentiate positive and negative? Here I mentioned the simple concept. For example, if you throw the ultraviolet light and your material will be will become softer, what happens? After that, you can uh, dip that particular uh, workpiece into the salt bath and after that, what happens? The extra or say excess polymer will be or muscant will be removed and after that, you can go for the machining in that particular unexposed area. Right? So, once again I repeat, here in this video I mentioned the concept and how can we differentiate this type of uh, muscan phenomena, here once again I repeat. So here, mask is important, uh, through the mask or say through the pattern of your workpiece or say your pattern to be removed or your shape to be cut, here ultraviolet light will be thrown. So with help of this light, your material will become softer or harder based on the various type that is positive and negative and after that what happens you can dip that particular workpiece into the salt solution or solvent so due to this the extra muscle will be removed and after you can go for the chemical machining by dipping that particular workpiece into chemical reagent or agent right so this is the concept for this uh, chemical machining or a positive and negative type of photoresist muscant, right? So here, uh, regarding the material removal rate, your material removal rate is or say depends mainly on the type of agent or say your chemical reagent, right? So chemical reagent is very important. Uh, uh, for the hard material, you can choose the higher material removal rate. So here I mentioned the material removal rate limit in mm per minute, right? So here, based on the particular material to be machined, you can choose your material removal rate as well as your chemical reagent, right? So as per our discussion, chemical machining is very important. You can go for the machining for any type of material. So it is a very easy setup. And here, stress will not be generated, right? So your component will be stress-free, right? So your surface finish obtained is uh, very good and you can go for any complex shape or intricate shape machining, right? So it is very or equally should for hard and brittle material also. So these are the main uh, advantages or key points. Uh, at the same time, there will be some limitation like here this process or some material removal rate is comparatively slow due to this chemical reaction, right? So here, uh, your floor space for that particular setup uh, will require as a high, right? So these are the limitations that you should consider before choosing the chemical machining. So in the similar concept here, I mentioned the electrochemical machining principle, right? So in the electrochemical machining, the principle is very simple, that is Faraday's law of electrolysis. So what happens when you dip the anode and cathode into electrolyte and switch on the current, what happens? There will be ion transfer or material transfer, right? So this principle is known as electrolysis. So there are two laws of uh, Faraday, that is Faraday's law of electrolysis. So here I mentioned both the laws. So our purpose is to remove the material. So once again, I repeat the concept, when you dip the anode and cathode, and switch on the current, there will be some material transfer. So our purpose is to remove the material from one of the uh, point or say one of the uh, material or tool, right? So here, based on this concept, we can go for the machining. 
right? So here in the electrochemical machining, ion transfer is very important, right? And electrolysis is the mechanism and electrolyte liquid is used for this purpose, right? So we will discuss this process that is electrochemical machining in next session. Thank you all of you.